Imagine that. Imagine you're walking with Paul, mm. and then all of a sudden, you have a bad thought, and you're trash talking someone down the way, like, why do they do that, or this and that. Right, right, right. And then Paul just turns around and just says, take every thought captive, young man. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a game changer? Ooh. Wouldn't that just be yeah, a game changer? Yeah, like, yeah. okay, yeah. you know, I should be taking every thought captive. And, well, you know, and it's you know? gonna look like, even like this, you know, like now you have a, a Paul or a Timothy, a situation comes up where the Timothy gets really angry about something going on sure. in their life. Sure, yeah. And you tell him, you know, let's stop and pray. Let him look at another perspective. You know, that's you just, just praying and letting God handle that situation and not you take vengeance, but allowing God to work in that situation because right. there's so much anger, maybe so much bitterness and God wants to work in that. We're gonna run with that right now. All right. So you do have a situation and you have a situation now where you being a Paul have to now practice patience all over again. Mm. And where you being a Paul now have to show the demonstration of, pace, of patience to the Timothy you're working with. Uh, so, so much, so many times um, that can also damage uh, the growth of a Timothy for a Timothy not to see the patience in a Paul. But it also can frustrate a Paul for a Timothy mm. to be so unpatient. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's just like where that's where the growth happens for both. I look at my own relationship with my own boys. There's been times that it's been very easy going, you hang out, you chill, you know, you do all that kind of stuff. And then there's those times, like sitting around a ball game, man, watching the Suns or whatever. You just have a good time together, right? And then you have those times where you gotta talk business. Yeah. You gotta be serious. And it doesn't always come across, you know, the easiest thing. But the role of a Paul is to look into yourself and say, I'm sorry if I use the tone of my voice or the way that I did was yeah. not was not pleasing, but I'm trying to get this point across to you. Yeah. But this is what we gotta do. Yeah. Um, I think as men, one of the things that's the hardest as men is to say we're sorry sometimes. Mm. We we wanna we wanna keep going and going and like, oh man, you know, they should be able to understand, but at the same time, God calls us to to forgive and to ask for forgiveness yeah, that's when right. we've gone wrong. Yeah. You can't teach a Timothy about um, forgiveness if you're not walk willing to apply it, yeah. it and walk with it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, and I, I'm 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 talking, but I'm still learning myself. It's not yeah, an easy yeah, thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, God takes us through these situations. You know? Yeah, yeah. So. But then it again, it, it makes a conversation so much easier mm -hmm. when you first started in love. Mm -hmm. So let's think about our own kids. Let's think about time and time again right, right. where our own kids have frustrated us. Right. And you know, we're in the business of life, we're trying to make a living, we're trying to put food on the table, the roof on the house and all right. this stuff. And all of a sudden, your kid wants to act silly and break a bunch of stuff and not oh, care about- It's happened so many times. Yeah, and not care about what's going on in your life right. because they're so inconsiderate in right. the matureness right. that they're walking in. Right. And um, you know, that happens also in discipleship making. One of the things, first of all, I, the Lord this year I'm, I'm really trying to work on is to stop, think, and then speak. Because sometimes we speak too soon. Mm. And we are speaking too soon can cause us to not not say something bad, but just in the sense that the tone or the way that we said it, it can it can cause something to happen, right? Mm -hmm. In your relationship with your wife or your relationship with your kids or your relationship and so God's using that. And so I think we all, all as men we have to stop thinking and, and listen before we execute you know about the situation and I think in a Paul and a Timothy relationship like you we had that question of the, the frustration um, you need to go back and say you know after after everything and this is what I've learned about in counseling after everything is kind of the, 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 the waters muddled a little bit the, then you go back and you talk about it and you regroup from the situation. You don't go in the heat of the situation because yeah, you say yeah. things, you do things. I was remembering a pastor had once said, uh, the 72-hour rule. Mm. 
and in frustration and dealing with people or situations where it's a heat of the moment, um, he would pause and take 72 hours when making a major decision. Mm. And then he would revisit the situation in 72 hours. And I, I'm not saying that it has to be 72 hours or whatever, but mm -hmm. I think the practical principle was that there's wisdom in the patience. There was wisdom in the, in the break of the frustration. I do agree with you. If there's heat and there's conflict and there's frustration, you need to go back to, um, we need some time yeah. to regroup. Are you ready? Ready? Are you ready? too busy for God? Are you prepared for the afterlife? Is God an afterthought or your daily bread of life? Do you have the time for God? Can you spread some time with God? This community network. Minutes with God. Don't get it twisted.